on an angel figure correctly. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Sideshow Collectibles statue review on the J. Scott Campbell Spider-Man series Black Cat Comiquet statue. This is the Sideshow exclusive version right here. I gotta give a big thanks to Comic and Figure Addicts for making this review possible. Thank you so much, Juan. Comic and Figure Addicts, you gotta check them out. Uh, link description below to their Instagram and Facebook. This is right from Juan's collection, so I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Very nice packaging over here. Kind of reminds me of Spider-Gwen a little bit, right? Kind of fits her palette. And on the side right here, we don't have a whole lot going on. We get some added webbing that you can faintly see right over there, and then you get the Campbell signature, and you get the Spider logo, Sideshow.com. On this side, you can see a little bit of a sketch of Black Cat. On the top, you get the Campbell signature and then at the bottom you can see this is number 164 out of 3500 wow all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here is black cat out of the packaging and wow what a gorgeous statue sideshow has done a great job with this and i love the design this pose oh my goodness man i love that pose i really like the paint that we're getting on this very nice paint apps a very nice paint shading throughout even on the base now this is the sideshow exclusive so we do get the little kitty cat right there that we can swap out with the diamonds I guess the diamonds is the one part that I'm a little bit disappointed with I'm just not too thrilled with the way that came out, but really not a big deal I mean the centerpiece really is the black cat herself So anyway, let's take a closer look at the small cat that came with this and then we'll take a closer look at black cat Now looking at the bottom of the base over here You can see how it's littered with diamonds all over and it's made with this translucent plastic with some blue translucent plastic So it kind of has this fade and they all have this silver paint over it, which looks very nice. Now, you can remove this piece over here, and then just plug it in with the kitty cat, and you can see how well that plugs in right there. Uh, the cat itself looks very cute. Uh, I think it's a cute looking cat, you know, not too bad. Uh, looking right over here, you can see it's painted out very well. Nice pink nose on it, and one eye is all closed. Looks really weird seeing it smushed on that side. But I really like the paint on it, sculpted out very nicely. I don't know if this is enough, you know, to push someone over the edge to get the Sideshow exclusive or not. It wouldn't for me, but I still think it's a very good looking cat, and I like it. However, I will say it kind of ruins the view a little bit, so I think I'm going to just go with the diamonds right there. So here's looking at her head sculpt, which I think is very sexy and very nonchalant, kind of looking black cat, which I think is appropriate for the character. I like the sculpt, very much looks like J. Scott Campbell's artwork to me. Uh, they did use this tan color for her hair, which I think is a little unusual. Most of the time we see a whitish, bluish kind of color. And we do get this huge seam coming down right there. That's a big complaint of mine. I don't really like that so much. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. We do get some blue right here on the back, which looks pretty good. So, you know, the hair doesn't look too terrible or anything. It's just uh, a little unusual for me seeing the tan color, which doesn't really stand out as much in person. As you can see, as you know, when I brighten the settings, you know, it, it looks a little bit better. But I really like how the face came out. And I really like how the mask came out over here too. And we have some very good paint around her eyes. I just think that looks awesome. Did a really good job with that. It's tough to see her right eye in there, but you can kind of see it. So they're both painted out very well. And I love that we get these bluish colored highlights right here on these on this vinyl mask. It looks like it's made out of vinyl or something like that. Same thing with the choker right over there. And her fur collar actually has the color I would expect to see the hair in. But it's good that they change it up a little bit, you know what I mean? So, you know, the, the tan color isn't really that big of a complaint of mine. Now these Chimbomba Rosadas over here look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, those are great. So they darken the settings over here. You can see them eh, a little bit better. Yeah, so it's definitely a highlight of this statue. Looks very, very good. Nice cleavage. And I really like the material choices or the looks of the materials. You know what I mean? Like you can really see that this is made out of, I don't know, some kind of fabric. And then this is made out of vinyl, it looks like. And they have these blue highlights over here, so you can really see the difference. Really nice wrinkles sculpted in there as well. And got that sexy black cat pata right there. I love that pose. I love it when women do that. Anyway, you can see her little corset right over here. We get some more of that bluish fur hanging from her forearm. Right here on the back, you can see the corset again. And get some very nice coloring added right there. And there's her big old nalgas looking very nice. And get that pata underneath right there. 
Then you can see that leg. God, I love that. That's definitely one of my favorite parts of this statue. I love it. I love it when girls get into that pose. It's just a very good looking pose. I like it. I, I'm a leg man, so I appreciate that stuff. You know what I mean? And I also appreciate the ball of yarn that we get over here. That looks very good. We get some nice black paint over the red. The spidey yarn looks very nice. Nice nails sculpted over it and everything. Looks very good. Digging that a lot. And I like how the base actually has this fading going on too. So it fades into lighter whitish pink all throughout the edges. And you can see a little bit of the paint speckled right there. It's kind of tricky to see, but it is there. Something that's very, very good. I'm liking this statue. Yeah, really like the J. Scott Campbell design. Now, I have to take this off because I don't want it falling around. But you can see on the very bottom over here, it says Black Cat Comic Cat. And then you can see the number right there, 164 at 3,500. And of course, it does have these little pads right over here to make sure that, you know, you don't get any wear or anything at the very bottom of this statue. Now, to measure out this statue, which is kind of hard to do. I mean, she's sitting on the base right there. So you can see just measuring from the base, she's at about seven and a half inches tall, but with the base included, she's standing at nine inches or sitting at nine inches. And then for your black cat comparison, here we have Hasbro's Marvel Legends Black Cat, which is actually my favorite black cat figure. And then we have my custom black cat made from the Toy Biz Black Widow. And then for your J. Scott Campbell Spider-Man series statue comparison, here's Black Cat next to Mary Jane Watson. And I am so glad I've gotten this. Thank you again, Comic and Figure Addicts, for making this purchase possible over here. I love this statue till this day. I didn't pull the trigger on this, just one, because I couldn't afford it. I wanted to get my Civil War Marvel Legends instead. And then I just think this is just a better, I mean, it's got the bare feet right there, the nalga showing. This one has the chimbomba rasada showing. Uh, this one's just a little bit more covered up, even though I still find it very sexy. I am still happier with this one than I am with this one. And then plus, I like redheads. Whiteheads, I'm not as much of a fan of. And just in case any of you cochinos out there wanted a nalgas comparison, hey, your boy Shardimus Prime's got you covered. And then here's Black Cat next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey everyone, and here's Black Cat once again with the kitty attached right over there. Not looking too bad, but you know, the cat kind of blocks the view a little bit, so I prefer the diamonds, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I mean, come on, that is one hell of a view. I think this thing is dead sexy, absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend it, even though it's out of my price range, I had to buy the new Marvel Legends Civil War figures instead, which I'll have reviews coming soon for those. And I gotta say thanks again to Comic and Figure Addicts for making this review possible. If you're a Bay Area local, make sure you check out their store links below for them and if you're not in the san francisco bay area you can find this statue at big bad toy store and i hope you guys enjoyed the video so much that you want to check out more videos if you'd like check out the subscribe button right over there also yesterday i did a review on the star wars entertainment earth exclusive four pack set from the six inch black series so you can see that review right over there and then i also did a video talking about the hot toys new avengers scarlet witch figure that will be coming out soon and that's also a sideshow exclusive as well and then I just posted a video recently on my Shardimus Wank channel. I'm going to be posting more videos over there, so stay tuned to that. If you're not subscribed to the Shardimus Wank channel, check that channel out. It's my second channel. I'm also going to start a drumming channel soon, too. So I'm going to be posting more videos on YouTube through other outlets. But don't worry, for the patrons, I'll still be posting the exclusive rant reviews, which I just sent you guys one today. So check out the rant review if you are a patron. And I hope you guys check out the photo gallery coming up over at MarvelousNews.com. I'll get Catch you guys later. Not guys. Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Right here you can see some really very 